Hello, everybody, and happy Tuesday. Boy, I feel good today. I feel good. A lot of you don't know, I had this Omicron or COVID, and my mom says, how are you? I haven't heard from you. So, Mom, I got the COVID. You were vaccinated. How would you get it? She was asking me how I felt or how... It was like the flu, but a little worse. My toes were hurting. My knees were hurting. Anyway, enough of that. Today's a, and thanks everybody for asking about me. I greatly appreciate it. Oh, and by the way, like and comment and a chance to win a couple gas cards. A loyal subscriber on here. He doesn't want me to tell you his name. He's going to help. He's going to send 25 hours out. I'm going to send 25 out. We're like kids. We all want to win something. Like and comment and subscribe. And if you're new, it's free to subscribe. Hey, Will Smith video yesterday. You haven't watched it watch it after this a little fun on it um two things i want to talk about in today's video mansion stimulus it's back not the gas stimulus they're talking stimulus for the people okay uh what do i know <laughs> what do i know you can't make this stuff up also you can't make this up <laughs> 12 billion dollars what's that for sal you got to stay tuned President Biden's calling for $12 billion uh, before I go any farther. Yeah, you won't believe what it's for. Thank you for all the likes on yesterday's two video. I greatly appreciate it. Again, like and subscribe. If you like the video, share the video. Um, I'm going to jump right into today's news. Before I do, um, I just want to say one thing before I go any farther. I really appreciate reporting the news on this channel. And there's a few people who get unhappy. They think I'm hard on President Biden. Even my wife. Um, and some family members. Well, let me just say to them, I'm sorry, but I just speak the truth. I love you all. And I'm just speaking the truth. Truth, right? And I was hard on Trump, but I'm just giving the facts and what's happening. All right, let me jump into today's news. Enough of that. But anyhow, so if I hurt your feelings... I'm sorry. Uh, all right. You might not like this, what I'm going to say. So, all right. Uh, first, the mansion deal. So, mansion uh, stimulus package. Let's just call it the mansion stimulus package. I see that what's, what's online. So, let's talk about the mansion stimulus package. So, um, there's 800, uh, 880 Democrats, real quickly, the House are calling out for mansion, not President Biden. Well, mansion because he was against it, saying, okay, let's get it done. Now, $1 trillion to spend it. However, they want. A mansion wants 500 billion, so half of the trillion, to pay off government debt. Can't make this up. So half would that pay off their debts, all right? And the other half would be for us, the American people. Now, they're saying stimulus. They're calling us not built back better. They're calling a stimulus. Again, I'd like to hear from your comments. I'm not getting your hopes up. I'm just reporting what I'm hearing on the news and the meetings I have. Doesn't say stimulus checks, but stimulus package. I'm just letting you know. Now, Ron Welding, well, who's he? I've talked about him before. If he's been with me for a long time, real quick. Now, stay with me. I'm getting close to that $12 billion. I'm going to wait, wait till you hear about this $12 billion. Don't go anywhere. All right, let's get back to Ron Wyden. Ron Wyden, he's the senator of financial, he's on the center of financial chair, covers all that. He says, let's help the people now with some kind of COVID relief. Now, he was also for, I kind of like this guy because he was for self-employed people. He wanted to give COVID uh, money for people who got sick with COVID. Like I just had a couple days I couldn't work um, you know, or people who really need it. Here's a little money for you who, who are self-employed. So he he's pushing, he, he's saying, hey, let's let's get this going, the, uh, the whole thing. Now, here we go. Um, oh, by the way, before I go any farther with this $12 billion of credit President Biden wants and what he wants it for, you won't believe this. Let me explain something here. The independent voters are upset. A lot of these might not know this. Um, they're saying if it gets to eight dollars a gallon, these are independent voters, not Republicans, not Democrats, independents. If it gets to eight dollars a gallon on an average, President Biden needs to step down and somebody from the party needs to step up. I'm reporting the news. What do you think about that? But here's something you probably don't know. When president gets voted in, whether it's Republican, Democrat, the independent, the people that are in the independent, they swing one way or another. Stay with me. Right now, they're they're you're hearing these they're hearing the voice. They're not happy with the gas. 
Nancy Pelosi says. So they're, they're not happy with what's happening. So, you know, President Biden's chances or the party's chances for re-election is not looking good based on the independent voters. Now, Nancy Pelosi says this. Boy, this piece of blank, blank. And she's Italian? She ain't no Italian. She says people have to suck it up. Well, she didn't say suck it up. People have to relax. Gas will go down. Just take a chill pill. Hang in there. Who the heck does she think she is? Has she lost her mind? She better have another scotch. Looking like she's drinking 10 scotches a day. Are you kidding me? Who she thinks she is making millions when she says to us, be patient with the gas prices? Unbelievable. Oh, real quick. I'm walking out of the... I'm walking out... Uh, Somewhere I, I don't want to tell you where I was walking out of. That guy was using electric. I said to him, I go, excuse me, sir. He goes, yeah. I said, how long does it take you to charge that? He goes, excuse me. I said, I'm asking you a question. A couple hours. Hey, staring there looking at it. What are you looking at? I said, it's got the guy. What are you looking? I'm asking you a question. Yeah, we know whose side he's on. All right, uh, $12 billion. All right, here we go. <laughs> People, you got to laugh. Laughing's good for you. That's true. I just didn't want to tell you where I was because there's certain people, if I say where I was, anyhow, I just can't say where I was. It was a charging station. All right, $12 billion. Sal, tell us about the $12 billion. $12 billion Biden wants for immigration. We should probably heard this already. So he's calling out, he demands Congress, give me $12, $12 billion. He wants $12 billion for immigration so they can come over and have a house and a garden, some tomato plants and some rose garden. Yeah. That would be nice when people come here legal. We pay our taxes for them to come here. But he wants... Now, I'm all for. Well, my wife says, relax. I'll hear from you in the comments. I'm all, I was going to say is I'm all for people coming here legally, working, pay taxes. You can have the biggest house you want in the block. But calling out for $12 billion when there's people that are disabled, people like a lot, some of us or a lot of us on here who can use one more stimulus check. And I'm not saying I know about the inflation. I know a lot of you will get on me. We want to give $12 billion out to the, to the immigration to come here and have a house. And when there's people struggling to keep their lights on in their house and find it when they're going to get their next meal. Hey, everybody. Uh, once again, thank you for subscribing to my channel. I really greatly appreciate. Um, was I real hard on Biden? You tell me. I'm being honest, right? Say hello to somebody. Tomorrow's another day. There's always a solution on my channel. Have a blessed evening. Can't wait to hear from you all. $12 billion to immigrate.